right. Well, happy March, everyone. I uh, finally have some time to sit down and and kind of take you through what I've been working on uh, this year. Uh, hopefully, um, I'm not too much of a mess. I've been working in the yard all day. Got the neighbors back there working, and uh, finally have a, a beautiful sunny day here in North Texas. So, uh, want to get you guys kind of caught up on on what happened. Uh, at the end of last year, uh, of course, hot, miserable Texas weather uh, makes it really hard on the, the technology out in that weather to literally uh, film a lot of the videos. So I uh, actually finished off the year uh, that lawn was in really great shape. Uh, I never had really uh, too many problems. Um, still dealing with some issues out in the front where the armadillo got it a couple years ago. And we're working on uh, trying to bring that back um, each year. Uh, luckily this year uh, we've had a really wet and warm March and a very mild winter and you're gonna see from these videos um, uh, me mowing just today and I've got active green um, Bermuda growing uh, all across my property here so we're off to a great March in fact we're probably almost four weeks ahead um, I was looking back uh, last St. Patrick's Day was uh, I was actually doing a scalp on the lawn and we didn't have any green up at all so fast forward one year and i have uh active growing bermuda and uh, i'm pretty pretty excited to see um, not only out in the, the backyard the pool area and the front yards off to a great start so i'm hoping maybe we can fill in some of those spots i'm gonna have to go get some uh bring in some topsoil some sand and probably uh work on that front just just to try to fill in uh, the big gap. I'm also looking at maybe doing some different landscaping up there, so I will keep you guys posted on, uh, so, uh, sorry for all the noise, wind and neighbors and trains, of course. Um, but anyway, we're gonna do some work out in the front yard. I was thinking about using the Pro Plugger and see if we could plug some of the Bermuda, but I might just go get some sod and uh, be done with that just to, you know, it's the, it's the front entrance to the house and Sorry for the train, guys. <laughs> uh, the joys of shooting outdoors. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll keep you posted on what we're going to be doing out front and keep you updated. Um, I'm also looking at maybe doing some seeding, although that front slope is so steep, I just am afraid if I do seeding, it it probably won't work. I was also contemplating and was told that maybe I should try overseeding. Um, however, my, my lawn is in great shape. I just actually fixed a sprinkler head a couple minutes ago and uh, my root system looks great the next products are doing their job uh, the roots are really strong and healthy I mean I've got Bermuda roots that I thought were tree roots at uh, it's, it's crazy to see how um, how well they're doing and how deep they're down there that sprinkler was at least six inches uh, in the ground if probably not closer to eight inches and I had Bermuda um, roots that were down that that deep so um, really really excited to see um, another year of, of keeping the next products uh, in my inventory so let's just uh, let's jump back to January real quick and just talk a little bit about what I did um, I actually put a uh, on the, on January 22nd I put down image uh, I just did a blanket spray I had po up coming up I had some other weeds I also put some uh, quinclorac down uh, for some of the broadleaf uh, weeds that I was fighting and I just kind of let it go uh, for the rest of January. In February, I um, put down my my um I did the half uh, recommended amount. I did that last year. Uh, put it down right around uh, the same time, uh, end of February, early March, and uh, I did it again uh, right as we went into fall. And I've I've been pretty happy. I do have poa, um, but. Uh, crabgrass was pretty minimized in the areas that I did have crabgrass this year I just double double made sure that I covered those areas uh, with the uh, pre-emergent on it um, then uh, looking at the end of February um, I did do a test uh, a soil test um, and I do have uh, a little bit high pH um, so I just did, I bought one of the little pill things that you get from Home Depot. I was really more concerned about pH than I was anything else. And I'm running uh, in the upwards of uh, 7.1 to 7.5 um, and I'd like to get that down. So I did treat the backyard um, 
and uh, actually I treated the entire yard uh, with uh, uh, some pH lowering uh, sulfur so um, it went down luckily I put it down we got we've been had a ton of rain so it's been washed in I'll probably do another pH test maybe um, in mid-April just to kind of see where I'm at um, before I lose any chances of this good rain that we get in the spring and I might put some more sulfur down uh, just to keep trying to buffer that but also a lot of the products that I'm using and carbon X have sulfur in it and that's going to help uh, keep that buffer uh, low or maybe at least keep it from uh, getting too high on me again um, so March 7th I actually did a uh, scalp I finished up scalping it this year I started it in January took it down one notch uh, February took it down a notch in March I took it down all the way um, I scalped it about quarter of an uh, three quarters of an inch that's as low as my mower will go and uh, we uh, uh, that's probably the lowest I've actually scalped it and that might actually be part of the reason why uh, my green up is so good um, now so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that um, let's see so March 8th uh, I did do the, the the sulfur like I said 20 pounds I put that down uh, fast acting just got it from Home Depot uh, 40 pounds I did a 10 10 10 for I had uh, all of my uh, nutrients when I did my my test uh, we're, we're basically gone or, uh, or at, at on the lower end and I just felt um, a 10 10 10 is a, is a great way to just kind of jump start the the year I've done that the last couple of years and then uh, I just kind of back off and use a carbon X and next product for all of my fertilization uh, my backyard I did do humic and aerate um, I just had some aerate left over and I needed some shelf space I typically like to put aerate down when it's a little bit warmer although when I did put it down that week it did hit 80 here so it may have been um, it may have done a, a, a pretty good job actually my soil is in great shape it's very loose I'm walking on it right now with uh, all the moisture that we've got and uh, uh, I can fill the ground uh, moving underneath me so that's good um, and then on the front yard I also put down some RGS again I had some uh, leftover one of my one gallon leftover I will be using Aerate RGS humic and um, green punch this year in fact I'll probably this afternoon go out and put down uh, some uh, 1801 uh, green punch because all I've done from a uh, nitrogen perspective is just put down the 10 10 10 and I did put that down at 40 pounds for my 9,000 square feet so um, I, I got a good dose of, of nitrogen there we've got a lot of lightning the last couple weeks so that's our last week and a half so that's helped a lot too um, but I don't mind uh, spoon feeding it with a little 1801 um, and then on March 10th I did uh, image and we'd be gone spot spray just trying to touch up some of these areas and uh, you know hoping to I can keep ahead of the nuts at, or uh, not the nuts head but the uh, the POA um, unfortunately the second round uh, image didn't do as much on the, the POA as I'd like um, although uh, we're gonna be mid 80s uh, middle of this this week that's coming and uh, hopefully um, the POA is gonna start struggling so I'm going to keep cutting it short. I'm cutting it at uh, just about an inch, a little over an inch right now, and I'm going to maintain that height of cut uh, for as long as I can until the, the temperatures dictate something different. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty much the update uh, that I have for you guys. Um, again, I've done my first mow on, on the yard. I've uh, done a lot of tree trimming. I've done a lot of... Um, getting mulch in the beds uh, uh, just you know all the the spring stuff that uh, keeps you busy uh, clean the mowers uh, put uh, sharpen the blades did all the things that, that need to be done there so um, anyway take a look the the videos uh, I will be posting some updates um, I do have the new carbon X that, uh, this year's and I've got last year's that I've got left over I bought right at the end of the year so I'll be using carbon X pretty much uh, 100 percent uh, throughout the rest sorry guys uh, I'll be using carbon X uh, pretty much exclusively with a little bit of green punch uh, from the the next line so uh, happy March uh, hope you're getting a, a, a nice Saturday quarantine drink at your house hopefully you're enjoying your backyard and uh, we will talk to you guys all here in a couple weeks thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll talk to you all soon